Hi guys, it's Marissa from Imagine This, and today we are going over pre-arts lesson for the week. So we have two activities planned for pre-arts, so we'll start with the first one and then go on with the second. So for this week, we are going to be celebrating Memorial Day. So Memorial Day is when we celebrate and appreciate those who fight for our country and those who work really hard for our country. So what I have for you today is you are going to be getting two or three cookie cutters that are shaped like stars to represent America. And then you will also need just a plate or a palette with some paint colors on them. I chose red, white, and blue to again represent the United States and then a piece of paper. So this one's really easy and fun. What you do is you just dip your cookie cutters into the paint and then transfer them onto the paper Make some stars, some different patterns. Then you can turn it around, use a different color. So this is another great opportunity to talk about shapes with your child, to talk about what the stars represent in our country, and just take some time to pay respect for those who serve us every day. So here's just a little sample of the painting that I did with the stars, but yours will be beautiful no matter what. So that's a pretty fun quick one. So let's put this aside and move on to our second activity, which also has something to do with Memorial Day. So for this activity, we are going to be supplying you with some tissue paper and some one side sticky paper. The things that you will need are some tape, food coloring or liquid watercolors, some baking soda, vinegar, and a spray bottle. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get out our scissors and we want to cut out some circles out of our tissue paper. You can vary in sizes, you can even vary in shape, you can cut out stars. Another great opportunity to learn about some shapes. The next thing we're going to do is we will be giving you one big piece of this sticky sticky paper. We want to lay that down on our table, sticky side up. So once you have the stickiness peeled off, you're going to grab some tape and just tape it down in the area in front of you. Again, sticky side up. So it's this clear plastic part that's coming off. Just like that. And take some tape. It doesn't matter what kind of tape it is. Just want this to hold still. It might also be a good idea, parents, to do this in an area that you're okay with getting dirty, whether it's putting down paper beforehand, like we have, but this sticky paper probably won't cover enough for you. Okay, so once we have that sticky side up, I'm gonna put this over to the side, and we are going to grab our little tissue paper circles that we've made, and we're gonna stick them right on the sticky parts. And you'll see that once they're sucked down, there's no way you're getting them back up. So it's okay if it doesn't go down exactly where you planned because it's kind of fun for it to be a little bit more spontaneous. So we're gonna place these down. So now that I have my little tissue papers down on here, the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to get our food coloring droplets or the liquid watercolor droplets ready. And we are going to grab our baking soda and you can either use a little spoon for this part or parents if you wanna help, we are just going to be sprinkling some baking soda on top of the tissue paper. So once you have that, you can spread it around with your fingers on the paper so that it's not too, not too thick in just one area. And if it gets on the sticky paper, that's okay. The next thing we're gonna do, you can do this one at a time or you can do it all at once. So I'm going to get my food coloring. I'm gonna put a few droplets on some of these and you'll notice that with the baking soda, it's going to stick together. But we are going to fix that in just a moment. I'm gonna grab some blue. Okay, so once we have all the colors on there, now we are going to get our bottle ready. So this bottle was already prepared, but it is one fourth water and then three fourths vinegar. So we're gonna put it on the spray. And then we are going to see this reaction, see the fuzzing, the fizziness of it between the baking soda and the vinegar. So you can go ahead and you can do this all over. 
And what's going to happen is it's going to make it look like fireworks in the sky, celebrating Memorial Day. Oh, I didn't put any color on that one. Okay, maybe we can spread it around a little bit. Okay, so once we have that, we are going to let this dry completely. If it's really, really watery, parents, you can grab some paper towels and you can dab it a little bit. And then you have the option if you want to keep this as a fun sensory project and just throw it away when you're finished. Or if you do want to keep it, um, we will provide you with a second piece of this sticky of this sticky paper um, and you just do the sticky side against the sticky side and it's going to be this nice clear picture of the fireworks inside. So we hope you have some fun talking with your kids about Memorial Day and about the color mixes that are happening here and also about the chemical reactions and shapes and we just hope that you have a lot of fun with us. Thanks, bye!